Okay, so there's our expression, there's our very tiny table, and our job now is to get this thing into the S domain. Right? We're just doing the Laplace transform. So another way of saying that is I'm going to take this entire thing and I'm going to do the Laplace on this whole, this whole thing here, and I need to do a Laplace on the boundary condition as well. Uh, so Laplace on the whole thing means I'm going to break up every single part and do them one at a time. And that's just easier, right? It's the only way to do it. So let's start by uh, term, term by term doing this. So Laplace of dt dt. So for that one, I guess I need to look over in the table. Um, and if you look, and if I can zoom in, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, we have dt dt right here. Right? This is what we're trying to do. So we have to, we have to say this is the Laplace. It's s times some function we don't know. This is what we're solving for, t of s, minus my initial condition, evaluated. Okay, so I'm going to apply that one. And that looks like this. So we say s times t hat of s minus t at time equals 0. And that just says s t hat of s minus t infinity. Right? t infinity is my initial condition. So for these 0 d problems, right? I'll, I'll say it again. For the 0 d problems, you are applying the boundary condition, or the initial condition, as part of the process of taking the Laplace transform. So if you find yourself in Laplace with an initial condition still floating around that you haven't evaluated, you have a problem. Right? You should evaluate it as you're going into the Laplace domain. Um, and then when it comes back out, you know, you, it's built, baked into your equations. Uh, okay, so that's, that's the first term. The second term was, what, t over tau. So Laplace of t over tau. Um, I guess we could zoom in, but, or you can just take my word for it, that it is just uh, t hat of s over tau. What is this, t over tau? And it's tau lc. Be careful, tau lc. So not much interesting there. Um, then the third term we have is t infinity over tau. Laplace of that is um, just, it's a constant, right? So it's t infinity over tau times s. We decided Laplace of a constant is just that constant over s. Uh, the, the last term that we have is this exponential thing. So Laplace of g dot triple prime over rho c times exponential minus t over a. OK, so we need to look at the table again. Uh, what we're looking for is this is all constants out in front, so we can kind of forget about this stuff, right? We need to focus in on this exponential term. Exponential of something. So it's hard for you to see, but up the th on the third line, we see exponential of constant times time is just 1 over s minus c. Okay, so if we take the Laplace following that formula, that becomes g dot triple prime over rho c times um, 1 over s plus 1 over a. All right, that's the following the formula there. Okay, so we have all the pieces now for that. Uh, Laplace transform of our ODE. We've basically taken the problem, plugged it into the S domain. As part of that, we've empl employed the initial condition, so we, we can forget about that part of it. Um, and we're good to go with this. We just add it all back together. So this equivalent statement is what? S times T hat. I'm just going to call it T hat. We'll assume that's uh, T hat of S minus T infinity plus uh, t hat over tau lc is equal to t infinity over tau lc times s plus uh, g dot triple prime over 
rho c times s plus 1 over a. Right. So that's our Laplace transform in the S domain. Okay, this part's pretty straightforward, right? You're just, it's like matching patterns, matching, looking at tables or plugging it into Maple or whatever. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so with that, let's see, we'll do maybe one more thing here and we'll run out of time. Okay, so we've got it. Now our job is to solve this expression uh, to get temperature as a function of S, right? We need to solve for T hat. That's the whole point of this. We're trying to get a temperature expression. So let's solve this equation for T hat. This one, it's an algebraic equation, right? We're just, we've got S times T hat. We've got well, T hat over constant. So we can take those pieces that are constants and say T hat uh, times S plus one over tau LC is equal to T infinity over tau LC times S plus uh, g dot triple prime over rho c uh, times s plus 1 over a plus t infinity. So just to, you know, to solve this, all I have to do is divide through by the stuff that's multiplying t hat. Um, so we do that. This becomes this over s plus 1 over tau lc. And then this goes away. Right, so I've just solved this problem. <laughs> right. That's how easy it is. We transform it to the S domain. This complicated ODE that we had now has a solution for T hat in S. But of course, the problem is this isn't actually, we don't actually care about T hat in S. We care about T hat, or we care about T in time. So we need to find a way to get back to that. Um, so that's, I think, probably a good place to stop for now. Uh, we will pick this up next time and keep going on the plus. Thanks, everybody.